How can we find our mission in life? What is a mission anyway? I know a lot of us are trying to figure that out as we live, and it is one of our main and a big life topics to think about constantly through our lives. Recently, I made a one book called The Greatest Mindset, and I got to know the word meaningful mission. And after reading about it, I felt like this cloud in my head that I had been feeling for a while were all gone, and I know exactly what I have to do in my life. Oh, hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Saki. Minasan konnichiwa, Saki desu. If you don't know me, I'm from Japan, currently live in New York. I work as a theater and a film director, as well as running this YouTube channel. So hear me out. From the end of the last year to the beginning of this year, I've been thinking about what kind of content should I be making on this channel. Last year, I tried to keep my channel consistent as much as possible, but to be 100% transparent, it was not easy to bring up new ideas every single time with having a multiple different jobs. So I wasn't 100% sure if I was making something inspirational or exciting or meaningful. And I knew a part of it was me trying to figure out what my channel was. I felt like I didn't have a specific and a clear core or theme or jiku in Japanese throughout my content. I did not intend to solve this when I first started reading the book, but it helped me to understand what I love, what I'm good at, and then most importantly, what my meaningful mission is. So today I would like to introduce this concept to you guys with my example and some exercise that you could do. So bring your pen and paper and then let's dive into it. So first of all, let's talk about this book a little bit. This book is about how to be successful, but in your own definition. It doesn't tell you one specific definition or form of success like money, looking status, um, career, jobs, and it doesn't or change the world if they can take one small step forward from where they are. So to look within you and find what your definition of success is. He used the word greatest as a keyword to help us to discover our gifts and talents to pursue our meaningful mission. So what is meaningful mission? It is a life meaning, but more simply, it is a direction in your life. He thinks that the lack of clear, meaningful mission is something that stops us from pursuing greatness or success. But if you can find this meaningful mission, you can see a clear path ahead. When you get clear on your mission, you can start structuring everything else around it and then live a more intentional life, no matter the mechanism you choose. So how can we find this meaningful mission? If you are like me, you might not have a sense of what a meaningful mission is at this point, but don't get overwhelmed. It's got a lot of different exercises and prompts that we can figure out ourselves. And I just wanna say that this seems like a very big topic and something that you might wanna put a weight on it, but you really don't have to. You can always change your meaningful mission. It's just, it's much easier to move forward and make some progress with meaningful mission. In fact, he says, most people struggle to have a big vision for the future because they focus on how it can be done instead of why they want to do it. So in this book, he introduced three factors to find your meaningful mission, which is passion, power, and a problem. So let's start with passion. Your meaningful mission starts from where your heart is. So ask yourself questions like these. One, what lights you up? Two, if money were no object, what would you love to do? Three, what would you do all day every day even if you didn't get paid to do it? Four, what causes and experiences excite you? I would highly encourage you to take some notes right now and then write down as I am introducing mine. So what lights me up is great storytelling and then live theater. I would take every single opportunity that I can get in the theater and in film, creating and directing. I think seeing people getting motivated or moved by my creations. Okay, what was your answers? It's totally okay that you cannot come up with this right now. In fact, I took probably two to three days to answer all the questions, so don't worry about it. So let's talk about power. Just because you're passionate about something, that doesn't mean that you have a skill set to do it. You need power, which is defined strength and skill in this book, to excel at it. So let's think about your natural strength first. What is your strength? What are you naturally good at? What would other people say you're good at? Then we also have learned skills. What are the things that you have learned to be good at? 
but something that you've spent a lot of time building a skill towards. Actually, this was the hardest section for me. So I'm curious what your thoughts are. Uh, but here's my answer. What are my strengths and what am I naturally good at? I think listening, having curiosity, and then keep challenging. Uh, what would other people say that I am good at? I would say public speaking. Yeah. What are the things I have learned to be good at? Storytelling, researching, writing, connecting dots is what I wrote. What's something that I've spent a lot of time building a skill towards? Editing, writing, directing. If you can find my strength, that would be great because I'd love to know what you guys think. So the last factor is problem. Ask yourself, what's the problem you want to help other people solve? It would be helpful to think about what is wrong in your world, community, or circle of influence. I'm just gonna share my answer. I wrote down, I hated the word can't or moody or there's nobody else who has done it before. And I hate it to see people holding back without noticing their potential or power. I think every person can have or does have power to achieve something or change the world if they can take one small step forward from where they are. I actually think that this is a very crucial step to find your meaningful mission because from my experience, it's also easily forgettable. For me, when I direct theater, I always think about what I call uh, giving a seed to the audience. It's a seed to change, grow, and learn. I want them to encourage to make a small but better step in their lives after seeing my show. So that is very clear to me and I say it all the time. However, when I make my videos on my YouTube channel, I wasn't necessarily thinking about it. And of course, every time I think about a new idea for my new video, I always ask myself like, is it good enough? Is it exciting enough? Is it useful enough? Is it helpful enough? But I didn't think about my theme. So that's why I was a little lost and doubted my value and the meaning for my channel. So as the last step, after answering all those questions, find the overlap. What would be the things that you can be passionate about and then good at to make the world a little bit better? Write down some sentences. So for me, my meaningful mission is to help people to make a small but better step forward in their lives. A lot of people think they can't do things before even trying and they hold back themselves from challenging. I want to be someone who can encourage them to take a small action to make lives better through my creation. And how I do it is theater, film, and my YouTube channel. And as this book says, your meaningful mission can be changed. Grasp your mission securely, but hold the mechanism loosely. Don't let the how stop you from focusing on and pursuing your why. Okay, that was a lot of information, but how was it? Originally, I was planning to make this video as one of my small English talk content, and I thought, no, this is exactly what I have to do to help other people too. I will keep exploring what I can do on my channel, so I would like to know if you liked this video or not, and then what was helpful and what was not. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the end, I hope this video helps you in some ways, and see you guys in the next video. Bye!